Hello everybody and welcome back to Train Sim World. I have literally just finished recording the first look video of the class 377 and like I said I will be now recording a first look at the route itself. Um, There was so much to talk about in this 377 that I actually th thought it would be better to do two videos so uh, without, if you want to see about the train itself then record the uh then record, then go and watch the video on it that was uploaded just before this. Um, I'll turn all of these on because I won't be explaining exactly everything about this train in this room. Are we set up with the destination of Seaford, however? Yes, we are. I have literally just uh, restarted the... Release all the doors. I've literally restarted the game from the um, the quick drive that we, we were happy were messing about with um in the last in the last video uh it's a bit laggy which is a shame i think that's more to do with the recording than the thing being laggy if this change just terminated uh well yeah i suppose it just terminated those why are they blue that's, that's quite cool actually that was a livery feature that looks quite cool of course it's not but uh i'm just trying to get to the cab to turn the power lights on. I don't know if they would come on. Seems like they would have. Uh, open that. Close that because people shouldn't be in here. Close that. Close that. Now we're going to try and run this properly. This scenario. Actually, I just want to have a quick look at. Uh, or as sort of properly as reasonable. You can actually come around here. Oh, nice. Okay. Shiny Brighton sign, but you know what? Forget running it. Forget running it properly, um, or so-called properly. I'll do that. I'll do that in my own time. For now, we're gonna have a look at the route. Coming soon. Cycle pump. Yay! All our all our cycle facilities are free to use for the public. For more information, visit this, visit that website. Oh, you can't come down there. That's a joke. Uh, there's nothing there. We can have a look around Brighton Station, because why not? We might as well while we're here. Uh, lamps, girders. Yeah, okay. Okay, it looks quite nice. Uh, they look pretty 2D, them girders. Well, I mean, these bits look 3D, but... I mean, the sort of the pattern inside there looks a bit 2D, but... We, we, you know, we'll let them get away with it, because it's a lot of detail. Um, private. Okay, there's a road... The road... They've got to put the road in. Yep, nice. <clears throat> uh, no, I don't want to give up the service. Uh, there's a... Oh, look. Ticket machine. Machine. There's only a few of each thing. Ticket machine is card only. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, you obviously we can't go through that. It's a shame. Uh, it's a shame that, in a way, the passengers don't... Um, do you mind? actually mine. No, it's a shame that the passengers don't, um, come through. It's nice that, look at that, look at that. It's actually got London Victoria, so we actually know where it's going now, rather than the Trains in World um, 166, where it's just like, are you going to where I think you're going? I don't know. Sort of thing. So, where's that going? Brighton. That's, so that's terminated then. Uh, I was just having a look around to see if there are any more collectibles over here. You can't go down there. Oh, uh, okay. A light other side. Oh, okay. It doesn't actually go anywhere, this platform. Fair enough. I don't really know Brighton, so... I can't really comment. Interesting. I'm sure the doors were open before, and they're just re-released. Re okay, I'm liking this. I'm quite liking this. It's, not, it's nicely built. Bye. Have fun. Where are you, at wherever you're going. Let's, uh, let's run back across the platform and uh, jump on our train. And let's get going ourselves. Run down the road. Why not? Doesn't appear to be any wood wood sound along this bit. It all seems to be concrete. Right, let's let's get going then, shall we? 
let's go and see the world or this route that you know. Yeah, I reckon, like I say, I reckon a lot of the lag is probably due to the recording um, being active. It's, yeah, it's still working. Cool. Right, let's stick her into forward. Uh, do we have a AWS? Nope. We have a. Oh, we didn't. Normal, normal, vigilant, normal, normal. Everything's normal, right? Okay. Cool, right. Yep, yeah, let's. Let's -a go. Stop at the London Road. 45. Yeah, we're a few minutes late. But, you know, okay. Whatever. That doesn't do, does it? Let's have a look. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. That's nice. Quite nicely done. Look at, the, look at that. The, 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 the thing actually counts as the height of the world. Map sort of thing. The station can't be. Okay, floating platform. Fair enough. Floating station, fair enough. <laughs> just, just just a little bit floaty. Uh power where's the sea front? The sea front is quite away, I know that part. Yeah. Yeah. It's quite away actually, so. Back our basin, no? The AC was going to power back up. Oh no, there it is. There it is. We can also have a look at the uh, the cab, the whole cab head sway thing, or whatever you want to call it. I think we saw a bit of that in the passenger view, and we saw a tiny bit of it when we were crossing the junctions at the end of the last video. So, yeah, the, the, you move back more now, which is nice. You actually move about. With the sort of the acceleration, deceleration of the train, it was pretty static before, to be honest. Not that we really noticed it, but now, now it's doing what it is. You can really see that how sort of wrong it was beforehand. The long train there. Eight to twelve car, I believe that was. Right, London Road. Is it just me, or does that platform look a bit clean? It doesn't look quite right for some reason. That was a bit powerful braking. I don't know if it was too powerful. Oh yeah, we need to try the SDO release at some point as well. I know I said I wouldn't make this about the train, but I'm sure we can have a look at bits of the train. Poor car. I actually did that. I didn't even look at them off. But then again, I had the things on the ground, didn't I? Three and two, yeah. That's the DMUs, I guess. Oh, I like the bridge. I like the bridge a bit. Nice. I just quickly want to run up and have a look at these um, departure boards quickly. Ooh, tunnel. Tunnel banter. Tunnel banter. There we go. Oh, it's actually a staggered platform. Oh, no, it was this one wrong. I don't even know. I think it's staggered. Yeah, no, they don't work, unfortunately. Uh, they could probably be adapted to work. Like, uh, what well, I think they want to still try and do with Great Western Express. They want to try and adapt everything and build a script that um, runs sort of Automatic destinations and all that. Shame you can't use that bridge though. I'm guessing. You can't. Oh wait, maybe you can. You can go anywhere in here. There's another cycle point uh, there. Can't go anywhere that way. Two cars. Okay, nice, nice. Two D mesh, but you know that's fair enough. Fair enough. I like that. Really. Okay, That's, it seems slightly pointless you being able to use the bridge, but you know it's a nice feature that it's there, something you can do, sort of thing, for the bants, if you will. Not seen any maps yet, which is weird. Thought I would have seen one by now, because I would have assumed that every. 
Well, let's get the doors closed. And move on. Morscum. Right, we've not seen any... Oh, it says Morscum. Morscum? It looks like... Right, we've not seen any further than here. There's a 5 to 12, five to 12 marker there. Cool, nice. Not that I actually think that's far enough down for a 12 car train, but you know. Nice, nice tunnel lighting. Okay. I got a feeling the headlights should be slightly brighter. But maybe not, though. Quite possibly not, to be honest. So, yeah. Travel bags. Rails. Cool, we're approaching our station, so. I love how we say we're approaching our state, how I say we're approaching our station, and then the power up. But you know, we have time. Try a bit of this, shall we? Okay, a bit more of this. Uh, yeah, the brake pressure is actually um, coming up, which is a nuisance. That's a shame. Uh, because I would have liked to have seen, um, see the regen brake, like I say, but hey, I guess we don't have that. Coming a bit too, there seems to be a stark difference between step two and step three braking, to be honest. Release. I want to have a quick look in this shelter because if there's going to be a slight, a, uh, a map anywhere, it's going to be in here. There it is. Right, where we got? Lose. It branches off Seaford, which is where we're going. Or you've got Eastport. Uh, I think Seaford's actually the branch line. To be honest. Is there anything on there? No. No. Yeah, I think Seaford might actually be the branch line. On this platform, we need to mess about with anything at all. Nah, cool, fair enough. Can't go anywhere that way. I just expect you to be able to. Let's cross back over. Ooh, that's a bit. Uh, the motion blur doesn't seem to like that bridge much. There's a lot of ticket machines that are uncovered, but not many covered ones. The effort to go through the. Oh, R is speed set, not door close. That's a bit confusing in comparison to Train Sim Classic, but you know, whatever. Next stop, Falmer. 10.51. I mean, we're already late, but you know. We're having a look at the route. I'm sure you can excuse it. It's a pretty route, isn't it, people? You don't mind being late for this prettiness, do you? I think the West Somerset Railway is slightly prettier, if I'm honest, uh, in this game. But I'm I'm liking this so far. It seems like a nice a nice run you could really sort of sink your teeth into and get a few, or a nice route even, get a few different runs out of it. I think a few different services. Give us a couple of three one threes and some uh, one seven twos, and then it'll be complete, sort of thing. That'd be nice. Good. One point three miles until our station. Nice track joint hands. It's all right. It's all right, to be honest. I'm not seeing much that's sort of particularly taking my breath away as such. 
I think the train is the thing that's done that, to be honest. Uh, the route's just sort of, you know, just a route thing. But I'll say just the route. We know what to expect with a train sim world route now, sort of thing. Um, so there's no real surprise when we get the route. It's nice. Uh, it's certainly, it's always nice to have another train sim world route. I love it when they release train sim, train sim world DLC. It's just so unique. In comparison to sort of train to classic. I mean as a game and a con as or sort of as a concept, I do prefer Train Sim World, really. Because you've got the walking about, you know, you've got the better graphics. It looks hefty, it looks real. Uh, it, as as far as sort of computer as far as sort of DCG realism certainly. I've seen games that look better. It's just really not bad. Coming too hot again, and then uh, got the power too quickly, and suddenly we're way too slow. Least, let's just have a let's have a fly about here, shall we? The person, hang on, the person gets stuck on my camera. Push my camera. Forward. It looked like he got stuck on my camera. And that's a lot of uh, a lot of ways up to choose from. How do you ever choose which one you want to go on? You got to try them all out, or something. There's two ramps as well. And that's a that's a, that's a great design for, for wheel for a wheelchair ramp. I'm I'm liking that. Yeah, that uh, seems legit. Is all I can say. Seems legit. There's a, there's a ticket. New ticket machine coming soon. Okay, we'll uh, we'll we'll discover that some other time. Because right now we gotta get going. That one, that, they're still working on that one. We know this one. Uh, wherever this was, what, uh, train. What tra train? Tra what? Thank you. Okay. Okay. I don't even know if there's roll back to be honest. Yeah, we need to be able to do more with that and get sort of the route properly set up and stuff. Sorry if I back whash my mind. I've just realised it's up as well. So I I need to fix that, like now. So I hopefully I'm a bit louder now. I wish my headset would stop being stupid though. Because I'm getting crackling sounds and I've got a dodgy cable. And it's getting on my nerves a bit. I actually remember to press N for the low horn. GG me. Well played. Yeah, it looks as though maybe it could be a bit brighter, to be honest. The lights. Area code 15. Interesting, it's warning us about a 70, a 70 mile an hour, yet we're, we've got, we're in a 71 mile an hour. So. Must be because of that speed change for the freight, I reckon. Yeah, we're getting a bit of brake pressure, which I'd, I'd rather I'd rather we didn't get some uh, some brake, but some friction braking. But you know, what can you do? I'll do a coupling procedure on this. I really do. Oh, because I reckon it would be quite cool. Sorry, I'm tired. <laughs> if you didn't know, that that the the finding out about this about this unit has worn me out. <laughs> Cut 
tractors. They really are tractors as well. Golden tractor. Nice that they're on the hill though. We're getting 39 frames here. Considering I'm recording as well. That's not bad. We're 20 minutes into the video already. <laughs> Crikey. Quick releasing, I'll give it that. Ten mile an hour, okay. Oh we lose, and that's where it splits, isn't it? Pretty sure that's where it splits. We must have done about six miles now. Or oh, when we reach there at least. And I'm pretty sure it's twenty two miles plus the seven. So I think is it our longest? No, actually, I don't think it is our longest route. I thought it was our longest route, but maybe it isn't actually. When you when you add the add the extension, I'm not sure if it is actually. So, but that distance seemed to fly down. If I'm honest, considering we're now approaching the 10 mile an hour limit already. I mean, we are going downhill, so we sort of flew down the hill as well. But you know, you know, whatever. <laughs> Are we going to slow down in time? Did I leave it a bit too late to break, really? I mean, I probably shouldn't be using step three anyway, but you know. There we go. Lovely. I mean, we're going to probably not going to get that many points for this. Um. Oh, hang on. I'm trying to. I was trying to. I was getting confused with my keys. I was trying to bring the power down, and it wasn't working. I had my finger on the wrong key. Must be a sharp corner here or something for it to be this slow. There's a nice little bush I like up, up against the uh, the the arch. Quite like that. Oh look, they look. I would say they've used the wrong lo road loft. Oh no, actually maybe not. Yes, or have I don't know. I'm not I'm not sure. Actually. I was going to say they've used the wrong road loft. This looks like it was a bigger station at one point, um, with more platforms. Based on the fact that it's wider and this platform is humongous and it has plant pots going at a really weird angle, sort of thing. And. Stop! Where are you going then? Oh, you do want. I, said, I wasn't sure if she wanted to get on or not. Oh, that's quite cool. It's a bit bright. I don't know if you'll think finding that, but it seems a bit brighter than usual. What's behind there then? Oh, nothing. I don't want to be able to go in there. Oh, look, there's some, there's some. Okay, there's some track around here then. There is, there is a line that goes off around there. This does look suspiciously wide, however. Like there was maybe a bay platform in there or something once. Nice, different type of bench. The lift? I doubt you can use that, though. That'd be cool if you could. But... Oh, you sat down? Oh, okay, friend. I think, what on earth is she doing? Why there rusty rails right at the end? But never mind, unless it's used. It might be used, actually. Anyway, let's get uh, let's get going. Oops, sorry. Sorry about that, people. I moved the camera a bit too fast. Faster than I so desired, but... Oh, we need to try the, um, the, uh, SDO release, don't we? Did I just get TPWS for a green signal? I did read that signal right, didn't I? It was green.
phone stop override? Maybe now we've got to do the whole off thing. Okay, then. I am more than slightly confused about that. But, okay. Okay, um, I mean, at least we know the TPWS actually functions properly. Not that I knew exactly how to reset it, but it actually lights up and... Oh, that actually times out as well. Nice, cool. But, you know, if you come out to a signal... You press, and you've uh, got permission. You press that, and it overrides the TPWS. We lost power again there. Nice. I'm assuming it only loses power if you both ends are out. I'm assuming. Excuse me. I mean, it should probably lose some... Attractive effort. Yeah, it loses some attractive effort by the looks of things. As you would expect. But as far as um, the, the AC is concerned, it does cut out. It's very nice. Very hilly, this route. A lot of green football pitch over there. The grass on the football pitch looks oh, like the hill up to it looks a bit odd in comparison to the rest of the colour palette for the route, but okay, fair enough, sort of thing. I reckon once I've, learnt, once I've sort of Driven this route up and down a few times and got used to it. I reckon I could quite enjoy this. Not that I'm not enjoying it now, because I am. I'm really enjoying it right now. But, you know, once I'm used to it and the train. Uh, I forgot that. I forgot about that one. That, that, was, that was totally my fault. I apologize. Right, okay, we got AWS, that for a speed change, or something. Was that really, la oh, no, there is, there is a speedboard there, that must be freight only then, I'm guessing. It's not telling me anything, I didn't get a chance to read it, unfortunately, I missed that, what was that distance marker as well? That'll tell us, oh, crikey, okay. Uh, 51, okay, 51 and a half, I believe that is, it's got two, two little dots underneath it. Uh, there's another one here. What do you say? And 51 and three quarters? Three, 51 and three quarters. Is that from London? I'm guessing that's got to be from London, surely. Crossing there. Was there a whistleboard I missed? There might have been. There was a speed limit I missed. I know that much. I didn't say I was approaching that speed. Because <laughs> I wasn't watching, to be frankly honest. I'm liking these nice open sections. I'm liking the forest section. But I'm liking these nice open sections. Because, they, you know, you get to... They've, they, there's, they've done some very nice long-distance scenery, to be perfectly honest. It's certainly believable, sort of thing. It doesn't sort of make you think, yeah, it's too empty. So look, there's even trees and stuff on them hills. Nice. Nice. Liking it. Liking it. Point six miles, perfect. Didn't remember the right key that time though. I pressed B instead of N. See, I think in some ways, notch two of braking seems a little underpowered. 
Yet three seems a bit overpowered. If I'm honest. I think they could have sort of made notch two a bit close, to, feel a bit not close to what notch three is. Sort of thing, if I'm making any sense. Oh, we didn't try out the SD. The SDO. The only thing is, I've not seen any SDO beacons on. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, I've not seen any SDO beacons on the track. Fifty-three and a half. Now, okay. Yeah, I've not seen any SDO beacons, so I don't know if it would actually work. All we can do is we, we get to the next station and try it. There's the door. I need to remember to over, to purposely. Over slash undershooter station. That's what S SDO should compromise for, should account for. I should probably try and undershoot one, really, because I think it's more for undershooting than overshooting. It's definitely DTG th third rail, though. That is 100% straight out of train sim. Or 90% sort of thing. I'm pretty sure it's certain. Looking at the the ramps, especially sort of thing, it looks straight out of train sim. Classic. Where is the ramp? There you go. See, they're quite short in train sim, and they're quite short here, so it wouldn't surprise me if they've used the same thing. To be honest. Oh come on, straight it out. I'm having trouble straightening my point of view, I've noticed as well. Which is weird. Oh, nice! The, uh, the, the, the marker. The distance marker. The milepost, even. Was at an angle. Nice. Thirty-five of them coming up. Okay. New Haven Town. Where else? Are, where have we got left? Uh, let's have a quick look at here. New Haven Town, New Haven Harbour, Bishopston, and Seaford. There's only four left. Okay, nice. It's a, it's a, it's, it's a shame. It's a bit of a short run in a way. Uh, I reckon that thirty. Uh, what is it? Twenty-two plus seven makes twenty-nine. I believe. Yeah. Um. It's a shame that 20 mile, 29 miles isn't in a straight line in a way, just so it lasts a bit longer. But it's not a shame that they've built this branch line, because that's a very nice feature to include. Um, I do like the fact that this branch line is here. Because it just adds some interest and some variation to the scenarios and the runs that can, can occur, sort of thing. Gives a lot more potential to the route, really. I mean, a bit, a bit <clears throat> further on the main line would be nice, like I say. But I, I, I do like the fact that there's the branch line. Oh, we lost, uh, we lost our power again going over that crossing. Oh, there's the um, the terminal that you've seen in the trailer, the stone terminal, or sand or whatever it is. There's a sixty-six. Be nice to have somewhere else to drive the 66 as well. I like it when they give us um, a new place to drive the trains we have. It would be nice if um, if we had a different, a new train with it, of course. But it's also nice when um, when they give us somewhere else to drive a, a train. I've just noticed that the red caps on the bogies are black on this. There's some little red caps. So I'm not sure what they're for. They look like they're for fuel or, or some description. They're obviously not. Some kind of oil they look like. I, I doubt they are. But they are red on real, in real life and here and here they are black. I think they're red at least. They might be black. It's been a while since I've seen a prison. Not that long but I didn't get to see the underframe. Oh and I got a mate 
who's actually going to be extremely interested in these station lamps, I've just realised. I've just noticed. I didn't even undershoot the station, did I? Well done, me. Right, let's, uh, okay, we'll fly around. I was trying to, I was trying, actually trying to leave, but yeah. I've got a mate who's actually very, probably quite interested to see that. It's not LED, which is interesting. Uh, they're usually LED. I'm going to take a picture of that and send that to him in a sec. Uh, yeah, they're usually LED, them ones, but, okay, fair enough. European, uh, European, um, number plate. Okay, good job, DDG. Well, is there a party going on or something on this platform? What was I? Was wasn't I invited then? Hey, eh? what wasn't I invited? Two-way road, two uh, four-lane road, whatever you want to call it. That seems a bit of a point. Oh no, no, don't go around. I go around that down that way. Okay, I was gonna say that seems a bit of a pointless exercise going for a drive and then, uh, just sort of going around the roundabout and going back where you came from. <laughs> it's a shame because I don't think we've ever had. Have we ever had cars stop at level crossings in this game? I don't know if we have, which I'm very surprised about to be honest. Because you would have thought something like that they would add. It was in the old game. It was added later. Surely you put the technology, same technology from that into this as soon as possible. Because it'd be nice to have all the cars lining up at the level crossings. Um, wait for you to go across. I mean, I know in some ways you could argue it's a pointless feature because you don't see the cars uh, go across the crossing. You don't see the gates move that often. But it's just nice to have it, sort of thing. You can, you can hang around and watch the cake gates go off at times. Or if you're doing like a like a um a train spotting a rail fan scenario I think as they call them. It'd be suitable for that sort of thing. Or even for this, you could walk up you know, you could stand on the end of one of these platforms and watch several trains come in and the gates wouldn't move. And you kinda want the gates to move and the sirens to go and all sorts, so Oh wait, hang on. Hang on, I know exactly where we are now. Only by reputation. I've not seen it. But isn't this the one with the the little platform down here somewhere? Where the 313 ghost train goes? Am I making stuff up or is that is that real? Is that actually where we are? It's not, I thought this track was for the, the, uh, the boat train or whatever it was. With the platform, unless the platform's been that removed, but last I knew, it was in a sort of a not a very good way, but it still existed. So even if it was just the platform, I like I do like this though. That's that's nice. That's some pretty cool modern in there. Um, we've never had something like that in Trains in World, an actual loader, and um, we don't really have. That many big ships. I think the only big ships we have is the container ship. I'm sure that's where that station's supposed to be, isn't it? So I'm, I'm sure. If, if anybody knows, let me know in the comments below, because I believe that's where that ghost train uh, terminates. It looks like it, but it may not be. So, a little run off there. Nice. Cool. Cool. I was just listening to the motors cut in and out. Have we got 20 limit all the way? Oh, no, we haven't. Okay. I couldn't remember if we'd gone past something or not. But we did, obviously. Obviously. Bishopston. Nice little single track line as well. I'm guessing this was once double track, looking at the uh, looking at the width of the track bed. But they removed the other track. Oh look, we are actually by the coast now. Okay, okay. I was I was starting to think. Well, it's called the coastway, and I know it runs along the coast. 
but it's not directly on the coast. Oh, look, there's a little. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. The way the uh, the way the river. Oh, it doesn't quite em en enter the sea. In that fact, that's the disused platform. Yeah, you can tell here that it was definitely once um, two track because that disused platform um, just sort of screams once used because it's out. It's it's like or well, once two track because it's out in the middle. Isn't it? So it's on the wrong side. That's that's pretty cool. I wouldn't ta usually take a screenshot like that because it's quite far distance, long distance. But I actually really like that screenshot. If I'm honest, I might use that. Even you end up using that as the thumbnail. Who knows? Oh yeah, the next step's emergency, isn't it? So we don't really want to go into that. I thought because I was trying to get another step of breaking. In. Because I felt we were going too fast still. Right, we never even tried the SDO, did we? We ain't got time now because we terminate next. Oh well, I'll let I'll let, I'll let you let you try that one out if you've uh, if you've got the route. I'll, you've got to have something to do, haven't you? So you know, can't let me do it all. Well, you even had a chance to have a look at it. Caravans, nice. We are actually pretty close to the scene now. Which is awesome. I like the graffiti on the bridge. Is that Art Deco style building? It looks like sort of an art underground station. Almost that size. I'm surprised it doesn't. The door, closed door buttons don't um, occur for both sides. Next stop, Seaford, where this train terminates. Right, so obviously I'm not the most knowledgeable person out there on the train or the route. Uh, I like to think I know the train okay, um, but not not the actual train itself, but similar, similar stops or sort of thing. So, oops, sorry. I like to I like to think I can sort of hazard a pretty good guess at this, and I must say. I am extremely impressed with the train, like I said in the in the video. Um, the route, sort of your standard train sim world uh, route, to be honest, about 20, about 30 miles-ish. They tend to be, for some reason. Uh, longer routes would be nice, but of course they take longer to develop, so I can see their, I can see their sort of uh, thinking behind that. Because obviously the longer they take to develop a route, uh, the less they can sell, the more less money they make at the end of the day and they're a business and they are selling for a very niche market because not many gamers really are after a train simulator uh and not many train fans are after a train simulator either sort of thing so it's a it's a cross you're looking for a cross market and if that's not there uh if that's sort of that's going to be pretty slim sort of it's only going to be sort of regular people and the odd person who wants to have a gamble in the game. Because they sort of like the look of it. But in general, yeah. I am I'm extremely, extremely impressed with this. With this pack. Um, the, route is, the route is good. I really like it. The train is excellent. Would I say get it? Mm, for train sim world quality, yes. If it, if this if they came out with this in um if they came out with this in TS Classic, I would say get it, but for the train, not for the route, because the route isn't long enough for TS Classic. If we go by the standards of Train Sim World previous routes, then yes, this route is um is definitely definitely worth it on the sheer fact of this train. On the, on the fact, well, on the fact of the route as well, but, you know, mostly on the fact of the train. The train does so much for this route, it is ridiculous. It really does. It really does, and that is no exaggeration. Um, I really like driving it. It's got great functionality. Uh, we're going to return to free roam, and we are going to sign out the video in the free roam. Why did that 
do that. Uh, you're gonna go. Are you? Are you gonna go? No. Are you? You're not gonna go. Okay. Uh, oh, did we actually? We accidentally found that, did we? I walked into it. <laughs> okay, there you go. You can uh, you can walk into stuff. Yay! Ticket machines open. Come and get your ticket. It's only however much they cost. Is that the same woman who does the um? The um. Great Western Express. I know. It's my job. It sounds like. What time does this leave, anyway? I'm not going to drive it back. Uh, well, I might drive it back on myself. But I'm not going to drive it in the video. Unlock the doors. Oh, you've got to put the mask in, haven't you? Anyway, yeah. Um, that's it for my uh, for my look at Trainton World. Uh, uh, East Coast Way route. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Oh, yeah. Did I say, did I say whether I would buy it or not at the full price? I reckon it's probably worth it at full price, to be honest. It probably is. Um, you get a lovely route. You get an excellent train. And for trains in world value, yes. Definitely, definitely worth it. Trains, TS value, a mm, bit hazy because of the length of the route. But can we really compare it um, when we've got the direct comparison between other trains in world products? I don't know. I don't know. The 66 is highly detailed. If you don't have Great Western Express, you're going to get the 66 in this. You got the wagons. I'll let you decide. I think it is. I think it is. Mostly for the train, to be honest. Like I say, the route's pretty, but it's nothing we've not seen before. Although that's actually quite nice. Looking at, looking at the seafront. That's sort of quite classic. You sort of get the feel you're by the seaside. But yeah, um, that's my opinion. Let me know what you think. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. And I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.